everything is going to change now with uh, the advent of smartphones and RFID and, and this new technology called Near Field Communication, NFC. And, and what it really means is consumers are really now in charge. Social networks, uh, they're starting to come up to items. Seventy percent of consumers now when, that have a smartphone, when they go in the store, are using that to connect with their Facebook uh, networks, to look at TripAdvisor or WebMD. They're using it to make decisions today. Doing those things that consumers really want, things that are going to add value back, things that the consumer opts in for and, and wants. So we're going to do some screening. We don't have to capture everything out there, but we do indeed really need to start to deal with the data that consumers uh, that will end up adding value to them. The IT organization, the old IT organization is going to move instead of big T for technology and little i for information. Now it's going to be big I information and little t technology. Le vrai sujet c'est pas vraiment l'internet des objets ou le fait de connecter les objets mais quelque chose de plus profond qui est d'ailleurs commencé depuis très longtemps qui est comment nous allons euh, euh, introduire le, 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 les capacités d'intelligence dans le monde physique qui nous entoure. Et du reste, on le fait, c'est-à-dire ce que vous faites avec un GPS, ce que vous faites avec l'accéléromètre de votre iPhone, ça fait aussi partie de ce qu'on appelle l'Internet des objets. On regarde ce monde avec le, notre regard d'aujourd'hui qui est de, de gens qui, qui, qui n'ont pas cette data et donc on a l'impression que parce qu'on va produire plein de data, on va être obligé de la regarder. On n'est pas obligé de la regarder. Cette data, elle va être là. Simplement, lorsque vous allez aller voir votre médecin, au lieu de lui dire, il y a trois ans, j'avais des maux de tête, vous allez pouvoir lui donner exactement la mesure de pourquoi vous aviez des maux de tête il y a trois ans. Mais dans l'intervalle, vous n'êtes pas obligé de regarder tous les jours tout, toutes les données médicales que vous êtes en train d'enregistrer. De, de, Ce device permet de uh, commander différentes choses à la computer. Donc, so first of all, it picks up my facial expression. So, as I raise and lower my eyebrows, smile, clench my teeth, look around, wink, blink, the computer can see what I'm doing. It doesn't need a camera, it actually just responds directly to the headset. So I can use this to animate things in a game. Uh, it can also detect how I'm feeling. So it, it will detect my level of excitement, my level of frustration, my level of engagement or boredom, and whether I'm meditating or not, or what sort of music I like to listen to. It can do all sorts of things like that. How I'm reacting to material that's being presented to me. And finally, I can give it actual mental commands so I can I can think about making something lift in the air and a command is generated which the computer can understand and the computer can execute that command. One of the problems with current interfaces is that it is um, really hard to get some information or to access inf uh, information when you're in the middle of something. For example, when you're at a supermarket, you may be wondering whether a particular product um, has some ingredients in it that you are allergic to or uh, what kind of reviews it gets from people. So what we are trying to do is we're trying to more seamlessly integrate information and interfaces for information into the physical world around us. We are actually working on a different type of augmented reality where we use projected um, systems or projectors that uh, project information onto objects or even onto people in a user's uh, vicinity. I think that a perfect interface would be an invisible interface. That is actually why we called one of our projects the Sixth Sense Project or Interface.